Hi, my name is Will, and you are watching the Cardboard Genius. And in this video, we're going to make a fun little yet safe project called, I call the Mini Marshmallow uh, Crossbow. Really simple to use, a rubber band, you put a mini marshmallow in it, and you fire away. And it's pretty strong, depending on the rubber band you use, or the rubber bands you use. So let's go ahead. You can have this built in an hour. Let me show you. And I have the template for it. So you don't even have to figure out how to make it, the, the different parts. You can download those on my website. I will put a link to that, to, to where you can get that template on my website for totally free in the description of this video. So grab that template, print up the two pages, and then cut out the parts. See, there you go. There are four parts. The handle, the rail, the crossbow arm, I guess would you call it, the arm? And the, this part I call the finger platform. I make five of these out of cardboard, five of these out of cardboard, one of these out of cardboard, and two of these out of cardboard. So use these templates to trace onto cardboard like this. And I wanted to show you something. If you want it to be super strong, the strongest you can make it with the cardboard is you want to alternate the corrugations on these parts. Like for instance, in this video you're watching now, the corrugations go in the cardboard go from left to right, right across the screen. So we're going to make three of them that way with the corrugations going parallel to the, um, well, parallel to the barrel of the crossbar, I guess you could call it. And we're going to do two with the corrugations going the opposite way. I'll, I'll show you what I mean, if that's confusing. Right, we're going to do two this way. See, the corrugations go like that. So three that way and two this way. So go ahead and do that. And do the same thing with the actual cross bow part, the bow part. There you go. See how I got three of the, it looks like a, you know, the handle is going left to right. And then over there, two with the handle going up and down. So that's what I mean. You don't have to do that, but um, it will make your crossbow stronger, your mini crossbow stronger. And I don't show it here. I don't think I show it here, but do the same thing with the crossbow arm, the bow arm. Do three in one direction and two perpendicular to that so the corrugations run the opposite way. That will make the strongest bond. So go ahead and cut everything out. I use uh, my favorite X-Acto knife there with the ergonomic grip. I love that X-Acto knife. And I have a self-healing cutting mat. That's what that green mat is. You should get yourself one. If you do a lot of cutting, arts and crafts stuff, I love that mat. And then let's glue it all together. I'll show you. One, two. Three. four, and five. Now if you look at the top or the side of that, you can see the corrugations are alternate. Do the same thing with the bow. One, two, you know, I get a lot of, uh, I've got, I guess, about a dozen videos now, right now, something like that, on this on this YouTube channel of all cardboard projects. I've got more projects coming, and I'm currently almost completed writing a book of cardboard projects. So watch for that. Um, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to make cardboard projects, or if you want to learn more about it. Um, the wonderful thing about it is, geez, you know, everybody has cardboard. You get boxes all the time. Don't throw them out. Save those boxes. Let's make some projects out of them. And I have... I'm pretty sure about 10 more projects done, I need to do the videos and whatnot, and the, and the website tutorials and whatnot. So, now we did the cross, the bow, let's glue it onto the handle. Fun little project, and I like using mini marshmallows just because it's pretty safe, right? And you know, that way, this way the kids can, you know, fire the crossbow and have fun with it, and it's, you know, they're only shooting marshmallows. 
And which ways can you improve this project? I thought of something after it was all done. I said, gee, you know, a little, some kind of a little pocket or a container on it to hold your spare marshmallows would be cool. Underneath on the handle or something. Along the side, somewhere to store your marshmallows. So if you're making this project, do that. Add some kind of a little storage compartment for marshmallows. And there you go. That is the finger plate. Put that on there at the very end. And it's an, actually important. You'll see why. And next we put the side rails on the crossbow. And these are important too. They stick up a little bit. They're not the same height as the handle. They stick up the thickness of the card of the plate. The finger plate, make them as high as that goes to the top of the finger plate. Because you want them to hold a marshmallow as they fly. So I marked it so I could glue it. It's like roughly maybe one eighth or three sixteenths of an inch taller than the top surface of the handle. One thickness of cardboard. And it forms a little channel that the marshmallow will ride in. And fire straight. You want it to be flush right there on the left with the top of the cardboard finger plate. So flip it around and do the other side and all we got left is the rubber band. Same thing. Oh, and um, uh, that actually, I don't know if you're going to see it in this video, but I have that uh, self-healing cutting mat is on top of a cardboard desk that I made. So I use that cardboard desk to do my cardboard projects. That is a video. You might want to check that one out. It's a fun little desk. It's just five boxes. There we go. Only thing left is a rubber band. Now, I have these long, longish rubber bands. If you don't have them like that, you have shorter ones, that's okay. Knot them together. Knot together as many as you need to make your crossbow. And you can always adjust them. Cut them, shorten them, lengthen them, until you get the right amount of power you want on your crossbow. But an important thing here is, it is knotted at the top back, like that. And what I mean is, see where the knot is? The back of the bow and at the top right there and that will mean it won't shift around when you're pulling it that's the optimal location and do the same there not at the top back then when you're drawing it back it wants to stay where it is it doesn't want to like shift around or anything it's a minor detail but something to consider throw a little glue on it so the rubber band doesn't unknot itself and you're done now let me show you how to use it one more time you put a marshmallow in the rail. You pull back to the finger spot. And then you release. It's simple as that. The finger plate. And that's it. Good power on this little crossbow. I like it. Fun project. If you make it, send me a picture. I'll put it on my website. And um, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. And hit that bell button. Thank you.